what what do you think you're going to get malnourished from right is it lack of vitamin b vitamin c are you going to get scurvy are you going to get you know or, or how about no. losing muscle mass right sarcopenia yeah. is that the word sarcopenia and that's that's a very interesting thing because that's been studied forever because when you fast your body predominantly oxidizes fat not muscle so yes. if you're burning fat you're not burning muscle your muscles do get smaller because they're burning their glycogen which has water so that but that's not muscle glycogen is not muscle fiber when they've done the study and i just reviewed it in my last blog actually there's so they did wow. a 10-day fast in this clinic in germany yeah. and they measured so so the way the reason people worry about muscle loss is because of the way it's being measured so when you measure it you do this uh you either do bioimpedance or you do dexa both of them, uh, in both of those, body water is very similar to body fat. So when you do bioimpedance, you send an electrical pulse through the body, then this is the things where you step on that scale that tells you yeah. body fat, right? Sends an electrical pulse and it measures how, how much it is. But body water looks the same as body fat on these scans. So when you lose wow. body water, such as what happens with fasting, it looks like you're losing lean tissue, right? So yeah. It, 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 the, 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 the lean muscle looks like it's being lost. And so what they did in this uh, Buchinger clinic study is they did put people on a 10-day fast, right? A really long fast, longer than most people do. And then they measured the strength directly. They told people, how much can you lift? What is your maximum grip strength? How long can you do this grip strength? Yeah. What they found was fascinating because in if you look at um, – uh, non uh, weight bearing muscles, mm. the the strength did not go down. If you look at, I think it was the non weight bearing muscles, it went up by like thirty three percent. Wow! It's wow. like okay, you're stronger than you were. <laughs> and that's part of <laughs> from it fasting. Because, I love it. Yeah, I love fasting, it because what happens during fasting is that the sympathetic nervous system actually gets ramped up, so you actually get get energized through fasting, not, not the other way around. And do we also get this effect that many people have talked about called autophagy, which is very cleansing for the body, correct? Yeah, yeah. so autophagy is this period of time where you're burning some protein, and everybody thinks, oh, that's so bad. But in fact, skin is extra protein, connective tissue is extra protein. Remember that it's not just fat that you have to lose, you actually have to lose all the supporting structures. So you can actually lose a lot of that. What you happens can help re recoil that, skin to a certain degree, right, Jason? Yeah. The skin yeah. that so may be sagging. The, yeah. yeah, because if you're only losing fat, then you have this excess skin and you have to do surgery. But when you actually, you actually have to burn off, because it, it can be pounds and pounds of skin. Um, yeah, the, the important thing is to understand that it's all, um, it's all going to pass. That is, if you think about hunger during fasting, it actually, you, you will get hungry. So you have to be prepared for it, right? But the thing is that if you simply ignore it, that hunger actually just fades. And they've done studies on it. It's like, for example, when you work through lunch and you miss lunch, yeah, you're really hungry at like one o'clock, two o'clock. By five o'clock, you actually feel exactly the same. Because wow. when they fast people, what happens is that your body simply, so insulin falls, your body now takes your 500 calories out of your body fat. Yeah. Just like if you didn't go to Costco, then you went in the fridge and you got yourself a chicken sandwich mm -hmm. and ate it. You're not hungry. You don't have to go to Costco again. Why? Because you had this, it stored away. Stored. And you yeah. took it out of the storage. Well, body fat's the same. You didn't yeah. eat lunch. Your body went into its refrigerator, went into the body fat, yep. took out the 500 calories and now you're good to go I love it's a that. problem if you don't have body fat like that if you're if you're at like you know four percent body fat or something but most well, of us are, are way 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 over that right yeah. most of us are in that 25 35 percent range right. so therefore it's not nearly an issue so therefore you, you people worry about hunger because they think that it's going to go up 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 but it doesn't yeah. it actually goes up and then it'll go down and then the magic actually happens when you go, say, over overnight, for example. So say say you skip dinner, for example. Then you're getting hungry at dinner. It passes. But then by the next morning after you slept, you actually completely reset. Your hunger level just resets. Incredible.